Uh, hi, good morning. This is Abhishek from Tech Virus, and today I'll be showing you how you can check if your graphics card in your laptop is working or not. So to check this, first of all, you need to go to your status bar and select the small icon and double click on NVIDIA settings icon. Once you click on NVIDIA settings icon, it will open up the NVIDIA control panel. And in the control panel, if you select the home button here, it will show you the NVIDIA control panel and the version name, that the which version of your NVIDIA graphics card driver is running on. So for me, it's showing as 335.23. Uh, this is the latest version from nvidia so i have installed the latest version so at any point of time you can go and check on nvidia's website if your graphics card is having the latest version or not and you can always download and upgrade the version the driver version it's absolutely free okay uh, on the left hand side you will see three uh, 3d settings first option if i click on adjust image setting with preview it has three options let 3d application decide use advanced 3d settings and use preference emphasizing so uh, it's good always to select let 3d application decide and this is the default option because you don't have to uh, switch it to any other thing like quality or performance and if you use the last one that like you want to use it for performance then it will obviously use uh, the graphics card for most of the application and uh, it might uh, use your battery uh, very much and it will uh, not give you recommended like uh, what expected backup from your battery so i'll keep it as let 3d application decide on the second option manage 3d settings i uh, use the second option which is high performance nvidia processor by default it's auto select so auto select also work pretty well but just to confirm that all my 3D application or the gaming application uses the NVIDIA graphics processor. So just select this. Once you select this, it will ask you uh, option to apply on the right bottom. So just click on apply. This will apply the settings. Just make sure that this is under global settings, not in the program settings. In the program settings, you don't have to change anything. It always creates everything automatically so uh, you just need to leave it as it is now on the last option that is set physics or physics x configuration you need to select this auto select because if you select geforce gt 740m it will again uh, use more battery of your laptop and when it's auto select whenever any game is running and if 3d application is launched it will automatically use your GeForce, NVIDIA GeForce 740 and this graphics card. All right, so after doing all these things, you can just close this window. And uh, on any game icon, like if uh, you have installed any game, for example, Far Cry 3 or Need for Speed, just right click on this and you can go to the second option, run graphics processor, run with graphics processor you can see the default is high performance nvidia processor and the second one is integrated graphics so whenever you click on open without selecting this option by default it opens with nvidia processor so uh, whatever settings we have done in the control panel it will automatically help you to open it with the nvidia processor for example, any other game, if you feel it's lagging, it's not working properly, you can always right click and run with graphics processor and select high performance. Okay, now let me show you one game by using both the graphics card. So if I right click on uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted, this is 2012 edition. Uh, I'll select run with graphics processor. First, I'll select the integrated graphics. So before opening this, uh, I have opened the uh, fraps uh, this will actually calculate the uh, frames per second or what or what is the quality of the game it's running on so I'll just right click on this run with graphics processor and select integrated graphics this is the Intel graphics which is also um, which is integrated in the motherboard so I'll select this this is the low performance graphics card I'll click on this integrated and I'll show you like what what is the frame rate it runs on okay 
Okay, the game must be loading. Okay, now you can see it's running on. Uh, this is actually loading. So once it loads inside and it races, then you will see the actual. So while loading, it's at 45, 30. Okay, it's fluctuating. It will take some time to load the game. Okay, now you can see the frame rate is really, really low. It's running on 12 frames per second, and you can see the game is lagging a lot. So if if I try to accelerate, you can see the frame rate is dropping to 10. And I'm not able to control the car at all because it's lying so much if I click left, right, inside the tunnel, the frame rate is still 11, 10, okay, this is really bad graphics card, okay, what I'll do, I'll close this game now and I'll try to run it with the NVIDIA graphics card. Close this. Okay, friends. Now I'll be uh, uh, running the game using the high uh, performance NVIDIA graphics card. So I'll select right. I'll right click and select on Run with graphics processor, and then select high performance NVIDIA processor. This is by default. Uh, click on this, and this will load the game. I'm not running this game in full screen mode. I just want to capture the frame per second. So this will open up the game. So you can see the game is loading and uh, the frame per second is 55, 54. You can see on the top right, this is actually loading. It will take some time. Okay, once the game is loaded, then you can see the actual frame per second. Okay, I'll remove this and it's loading. So as you saw in by using the Intel graphics or integrated graphics card, it was giving frame rate of 10 to 15. Okay, now you can see uh, once the game is loaded, you can see the frame rate on top right side is 21. Okay, let me play the game and see if performance degrades further or not. Okay. Now you can see the performance is good. And I'm actually able to play the game. The frame rate is 23. Actually, frame rate goes higher than this. I'm running Camtasia Studio to record the video. So it's at 30 or 25. And same thing happens with that uh, Intel graphics. But you can see the change in the performance and it's very high. Okay. So, Alright, I'll close the screen. Okay. So uh, you just saw how you can check uh, if your graphics card is working or not. So if you doubt like your graphics are not working, just right click and run with processor and high performance. Or if you open also, it will use the default, that is the NVIDIA processor. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.